Now, there's no doubt about it that a 99 steal can be a game changer. And whenever you have a 99 steal at the point guard position, whenever you're playing rec or even pro, it can get pretty nasty. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all this point guard build with a 99 steal, but also a 94 ball handle. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if y'all want more content like this. Let's go ahead and get into this build, man. Point guard, 6'3", 186, one tick under max wingspan will be 6'11", and body shape does not matter. On to the finishing. We're going to go to an 80 driving dunk, a 75 driving layup, and then we're going to go up to a 58 close shot so we get that 15th finishing badge. Now, we don't get contact dunks and we don't get gold limitless takeoff, but we do get silver limitless takeoff, you know, gold giant slayer. And again, stop spending over $100 on some overpriced jerseys. Go ahead and pick up a jersey over our pristine jerseys for a fraction of the price they even have throwback jerseys and shorts the link is down in the description 15 finishing badges so we do have to add one of our extra badges from our rebirths to the finishing category so we can get the silver limitless takeoff but again nothing like contact dunks nothing like gold limitless takeoff we had to sacrifice a lot of things to get this 99 steal in this high-end playmaking i'm sure you guys can take the ball handle from a 94 to an 89 and end up getting you know 86 driving dunk but on this build i need that 94 ball handle because i'm running point guard and 80 driving dunk is just enough for me i get the quick drops off one animation you see that's like the only animation i have on this build but also the tomahawks i have tomahawks and the quick drops off one silver limitless takeoff it isn't as consistent as gold but again this isn't like a like a dog finisher this is a 99 steel build and kind of like a two-way playmaker build as you guys are going to see throughout the video regardless some of y'all are sleeping on an 80 driving dunk that being said on to the shooting now we're going to go 89 three-point rating 75 minutes to get that extra shooting badge and a 78 free throw rating now we don't get the gold limitless range but we get the gold agent three the gold blind there's gold catcher shoot, gold green machine, and even gold mini magician. Now you're the point guard. You have to be able to shoot the ball. And an 89 three point rating is more than enough to be able to shoot very consistently, especially the gold agent threes. If you have to pull a fade, like a lot of point guards have to, because that's the only open shot available. Something like fading might be the only shot available to you to where you have to pull that. Again, you have the gold agent threes to help you out for that. You get gold blinders for the crab shots. And again, I know a lot of people are going to be commenting, asking down below what my jump shot is. And I just posted my jump shot video right before this for every Every single build that I have my point guards my lockdowns and even my big men so if you want to check that out that link will be down in the description or if you just want to click on the channel it's the video right before this and I say it every video even if my jump shot doesn't work out or if any YouTube jump shot does not work out for you guys I'll ask you guys to get a 2k labs premium membership because over there you know 2k labs if you don't know who they are they test everything within the game like the specific stats and stuff like frame rates and all of that the the green window they actually test like the biggest green windows and the best releases and all that and they even have the best builds and you know what badges you should rock on which tier and best budget badges they have all of that over on their youtube but if you go over on the premium side on their actual website bro and that link will be down in the description you guys can go on their premium side if you guys use code cozy you guys get 20 percent off so it's just a couple bucks and over there will be a whole spreadsheet like pages and pages long of every single jump shot in the game bro so you can actually see your favorite jump shot or see your friend's jump shot and see how big the green release went or the big the green window is you can see the release timing of it bro you can see absolutely everything bro I started getting that way back in 2K20 and it definitely improved my game a whole lot because if you can't shoot, you're, you're like, you're Russell Westbrook, bro. Like, the, nobody wants you on the court. No no shade to Russell, bro. He's still a dog. But like, when he was on the Lakers, nobody wanted him on the court because he couldn't shoot. You don't want to be that guy, bro. Make sure you can knock down all of your shots, especially if you're running point guard, man, because that shit is just irritating, right? Now on to the playmaking, like I said, a 94 ball handle, right? So we're going to get, you know, gold handles for days, not gold or not Hall of Fame unplugged, but we still get gold. We have a 76 people ball for the Michael Jordan, you know, dribble style, 75 pass and accuracy for the LeBron James passing style, you know, gold killer combos, gold clamp breaker, gold handles, Hall of Fame quick first step, and all the other playmaking badges that you need to run point guard effectively. Now 75 pass and accuracy would be the absolute lowest I would go if you're running the one, like the point guard or the shooting guard. But again, you put on the LeBron James pass and style and you can make passes like these bro so we had to sacrifice a lot for the 99 steel i'm not gonna lie it weighs a lot that's why my last build had a 95 with a 95 ball handle um but you know 99 steel weighs a lot so we had to sacrifice this one we get a 75 uh passing accuracy it's still enough like you guys can see in the clip so you guys can still dot people it's no excuse not to pass the ball bro still make plays and you know make passes at the point guard position so with the lebron james passing style it is enough we had to sacrifice a little bit you know it would be an 80 but 75 will be good enough for us now on to the defensive clips man 99 still bro you know what we get with that we get the goal or the hall of fame glove in the hall of fame interceptor now we don't get like a high tier of clamp 
clamps, bro. We're not even, even if we had clamps high, we're only 6'3, so people would still blow by us regardless. We get silver challenger, silver pig dodger, gold workhorse, and stuff like that. And again, 21 finishing or 21 defensive badges, right? You core glove and put on interceptor, and you're kind of like this perimeter demon, right? You're 6'3, so you're not going to be like blocking shots, even if you put your block up. You're not going to, you know, there's no point of, you know, trying something that's not going to be there. What you could do is just do something more of what you're already bet, bet, better at or so you can make it better if that, if that makes sense but y'all know what i mean but having a 99 steal especially at the point guard position like you know the lockdowns on your team some people run a lockdown with their team they guard ball he has a 99 steal but if you have a point guard already there with a 99 steal able to contain these bigger guards because you know if you're six eight and six nine they're really not going to have this hall of fame unpluggable so your hall of fame glove to their gold unpluggable is going to get a lot of strips i've had the same dudes coming down the court i literally just ripped them all game just being a menace to where they have to pass it force a pass for out of you know a steal animation and then my teammates are stealing that pass whenever they you know force pass or you know rush a pass to the wrong place but this builds a menace on defense like i said before some some builds couldn't even bring the ball down the court these six eight six nine point guards which a lot of people have which are really good builds by the way but if you can you know combat them you know because you know six three six one they'll get bullied by these big guards but if you can stop them by just you know getting some contact and being able to get you know a little reach on them you can get these you know high quantity steals on them because you have the hall of fame glove and they only have the gold unpluckable so the objective on this build on defense is to don't let them get past the free throw line don't let them get you know near there because you know regardless of what your defense is on a 6-3 6-1 they're gonna be able to you know dominate down low so if you can you know pluck them coming down the court around the half court set whenever they get set half court or whenever they're trying to you know hunt for a three if you can pluck them then or even you know get past the lanes in transition that's another good thing in transition you're, you're team shoots the ball and you have the speed you know your 6-3 to get back and also play those lanes with hall of fame interceptor and a 99 steal y'all could stop the other team from getting transition buckets and then again on the other end you're stealing the ball so you get transition buckets for your team ultimately leading in more wins again if you guys did want more perimeter defense which i really wouldn't recommend it 79 is fine for me but if you did want enough for like silver clamps or even gold challenger i'm sure you guys can lower the ball handle from 94 to 89 and still keep the hall of fame quick first step but again i need my i need my 94 i need to be able to you know make a shot make an opportunity create offense with the gold handles for days and all of the dribble moves like trey young and get at 92 again you guys could lower it to 92 and see what you can get with that but y'all can tweak this build however y'all want if it fits you better right here my teammate chucks up a shot it's not gonna go in they try pushing it down but i'm bumping everybody you know what i'm saying i don't have clamps but i'm still able to get in the way and then whenever i'm in the way whenever i'm in the right position to reach i'm able to get a steal right right here i come down the court shoot a little spin shot you know it's 20 to 9 so i'm just bullshitting bro shooting spin shots but again right after the spin shot i'm boom that same dude is getting plucked every like almost every time he comes down the court them 6-8 builds this build will knock him right out the game now on to physicals man a 90 acceleration and 80 speed 60 vertical and then a 98 stamina and this is your build right here 15 22 22 and 21 shot creating sharp shooting playmaking and lockdown take i'm still going double limitless range take but y'all could rock lockdown and y'all get the name three point shot creator it's not even two way three point shot creator so whenever they load up against you you're matched up against them they're gonna be like bro this dude has no defense and you come out plucking shit bro with three point shot creator anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this build if you do make sure y'all leave a like subscribe to the channel if y'all want more content like this i'll catch y'all in the next one